Sockeye fishing is um, uh, a type of fishery where uh, one day one thing works, the next day it doesn't work. Uh, these fish uh, have changeovers of diet, so you bring a lot of different types of lures along. So uh, one of the ones I've been using lately has been uh, the black with the pink on the bottom, and it's been a, a fairly hot hoochie. Then we've also used uh, the uh, uh, pink with the uh, blue heads. They've been very excellent. Then we have one we call the Hippie Hoochie, which has got a glow head on this particular one and uh, is blue and uh, kind of a, a red underneath with the, with the green head. We've even caught them on these kind of little uh, hoochies that uh, are uh, made by Radiant uh, that have orange and black on them and fluorescent underneath. Uh, this one hasn't got the barb pinched yet. I guess it's been a bit of a rush, but uh, that's one of the big things is pinching your barbs when you go out, when you put them on your gear. So when you when you fish, uh, you all use uniform gear all the way through. You use four of one. You don't use all kinds of different things. So you t you take four. You use either four of uh, these kind here that have got the blue in them and and the green uh, with with a glow head you, and stuff like that. All kinds of different hoochies work. Uh, we've got uh, just the regular pinks with with uh, the MP15s. MP2s work well as to, uh, in the mini planktons, so you, you can fish all kinds of different hoochies for sockeye. Here's another little guy that uh, Corey Mellon, uh, a friend of mine, uh, started fishing with. We just tied these up the other day, haven't had them out yet. Um, it's a fa fantastic little hoochie too. So the, also, when you're fishing your sockeye, you fish uniform flashers. You just don't fish uh, five or six different kinds. So this is what we were fishing with today. As you can see, we have the, the black and pink on. Our fish are the, the big shooters with, called Purple Haze. They have a checkered pattern on them. They're all the same. Um, all your leader lengths are, every, everybody fishes different speeds. For me, I fish a 27 inch leader uh, for the simple reason that the speed that I travel my boat, that's, it works the best for catching the sockeye. Now, different days, different speeds as well. When we started the season, uh, 1.8 miles an hour was fantastic. Uh, today we fish 2.2 to 2.3 miles an hour. So it, it all depends on what you're going to be doing. Also for rods and uh, reels, we use the open face. Uh, uh, Shimano's, uh, which are 2000's or 4000's, uh, with a 10 and a half foot very supple rod because sockeye have very soft mouths. If you put heavy pressure on a sockeye, you'll just rip the hook out of the mouth. So you don't uh, yank on them super hard. They come off the downrigger, you only put your tripper on the downrigger very lightly for the simple reason is when they hit it, you want them to come off easy by the tip. If you don't and you have it on tight, They'll pull themselves off and rip their mouth off, and uh, uh, that'll be the end of that fish. He's, he won't be able to eat anymore, and uh, it usually ruptures a blood vein and they'll bleed out. So this is the kind of stuff we do for sockeye fishing, and as you can see, the proof is in the pudding. <coughs> Brian and I will have some uh, beautiful sockeye to eat uh, for, for being out for the morning. Uh, the fishing took us... Uh, all of uh, 40 minutes uh, of fishing, uh, we uh, kept these uh, four. Uh, we released another four. We probably had another six or seven on. And uh, it's, a, it's a fishery where they don't catch everything that you get on. It's a, what we call the 50% fishery. If you got four in the boat, you probably had eight on. If you have, you have uh, 12 in the boat, you probably had 24 on. It's a, you lose a lot of sockeye. They have uh, what we call the flunky chicken twist. And they do that as soon as they get on the gear, and uh, if uh, you give them just a tenth of a second for no pressure on the rod, they're gone. So it's all part of uh, how you learn and uh, how you learn to adapt to bringing them in, and your success ratio and what you have for what you put in the boat. That's about all I have for now, Brian. Okay.